sweet perm and playing for a state title and put in a last second shot to win it for us is playing in the sweet 16. <laughs> All right, to get things started, how about when I say Ron, you guys scream Baker. How about that? Ron! Ron! Thank you guys on behalf of Scott Community High School for coming out today. And at this time, I'd like to welcome Dan Goodman up onto the stage. He is our mayor. Give him a warm welcome. Thank you. And welcome Scott City. Welcome Western Kansas and welcome America. On behalf of the city of Scott City and the council, I'd like to issue this proclamation. It reads as passes. Whereas Ron Baker is a 2011 graduate of Scott Community High School, and whereas Ron was an outstanding student and athlete leading the Beavers to the 2011 State Basketball Championship, and whereas Ron is now a pivotal member of the Wichita State University basketball team, which has advanced to the Sweet 16 of the 2013 NCAA Basketball Championship. Whereas Ron and Wichita State University are playing LaSalle University on Thursday, March 28th today, the winner will advance to the Elite Eight. Now therefore, by the powers vested in me as mayor of Scott City, Kansas, I hereby issue this proclamation, wishing him the best of luck and declaring March 28th, 2013, Ron Baker Day.
coming this morning. On behalf of Scott Community High School, this is an exciting day for a past graduate of, graduate of ours to get to play in the Sweet 16. We're pretty fortunate today. Of course, Ron and his parents and his siblings could not be in attendance with us today because, of course, they're in L.A., which is where we all want to be. But we have two family members that came from Quinter, Kansas. We have Loris, Jacka, which is right there waving right in front of us. That is Ron's great-grandmother that came today on behalf of him. And then his aunt, Juanita Cook, right behind her. Welcome. Thank you for coming on behalf of Ron's family. We're excited for you and his family. At this time, I'm going to bring another honoree up here on stage to talk about Ron. I'm going to introduce Coach O'Neill. He has been... He's been with the school district 16 years. He's brought us five state champion teams, four in basketball and one in football. And we're coming off a three-peat state basketball championship. Ron was part of his first state champion three years ago. Welcome, Coach. Well, first thing I told him was I won't dance and I won't sing, so you, you'd be safe from that. But, uh, you know, with, with this day being special for Ron, it's also special for our community just because a lot of you guys and girls went, went to school with him for a long period of time, so he's no stranger to us. You know, the things that you see on TV about Ron, you know, that, that's what you see, and that's kind of what you get with Ron. He, he's a very humble person. He's a, you know, a person that comes from Scott City that has made us proud. You know, when, when we talk about Ron, there's probably a lot of stories that, that you can remember and a lot of different items that you can have out there. You know, for us, you know, we remember the, the football days, remember the basketball days, baseball, probably remember some deals out at the, the lake as far as, you know, the, the baseball campouts and the, the, the camping and the fishing trips. So, you know, a lot of different memories can go around with, with Ron. You know, when I think about Ron, I probably go back to when he's about 11 years old, you know, watching him on the baseball field. And, you know, just thinking, you know, probably 10 or 12 years from now, I'm probably going to watch him playing baseball instead of basketball. But, but as, as he grew and as he got bigger and stronger, put into work, you know, basketball became his first love and it's taken him to where he is today. You know, it, he was uh, definitely on TV the other night, you know, after the game, said a lot of good things about Scott City. And uh, those things are, are true about a lot of our athletes. You know, when we talk about things to motivate us for our different sports, you know, Ron, Ron kind of brought those to light in front of everybody. You know, things about Ron, you know, number one, to be successful, you, you got to set goals. You know, Ron's goal probably a long time ago was to, to get to some type of Division One program and do the best that he can. You know, his dreams right now, of course, are on the Sweet 16, but, you know, a long time ago, there's no telling which sport that he was going to choose. You know, as far as, you know, Western Kansas characteristics, hard working. You know, we've seen Ron, we've seen a lot of our athletes, you know, in the weight room, seen them on the different fields, we've seen them on a roof, you know, shingling, seen them, uh, you, know, uh, you know, bucking bells out in the hay field. You know, work, work is not a stranger to most of us that are here, and, and Ron, you know, kind of showed, you know, Western Kansas, the uh, state of Kansas and the nation that with a little hard work can go a long ways. You know, a, a thing about Ron that, that makes a good teammate is he's trustworthy. You know, he's a, you know, you can count on Ron to do the right thing. You can count on Ron to tr uh, treat his teammates with respect. You can make sure that he's in the right place at the right time to make plays. And, you know, that's what's made him successful. And that's what's made Scott City successful in a lot of different sports and in our academics and music. You know, uh, you know, Ron's a good teammate. You know, he respects his teammates. He gives a lot of honor and, uh, you know, glory to his coaches. You know, and that's what you want out of a teammate and out of a player that's in your program. You know, in our different sports programs with the boys, we've talked about being humble and being hungry. You know, humble as far as because we've had success. We, we don't want to, you know, stick our chest out too much. But at the same time, you know, we're proud of our accomplishments. You know, the last part of that is being hungry. When we talk about being hungry, it means you're not satisfied with what you've accomplished. You want to try to achieve a little bit more. You know, uh, 
after Ron was on TV the other night, it's kind of funny that one of the things he talked about was, I'm just a humble kid. You know, it, it, those are things that, that come from Western Kansas, come from his upbringing, you know, come from, um, you know, just this type of a background that he has. You know, I, I believe that, you know, Ron knows that, you know, however the, the Shockers do that this weekend, he knows that, you know, we're, we're going to welcome him back with open arms. You know, he's one of us. You know, we're going to cheer him on. And, you know, we, we wish, you know, the Shockers the best. You know, it kind of in closing right here, you know, there's a couple of quotes by Michael Jordan. One of them says, you know, God gives you talent. It's up to do what it's up to you to what you want to do with that talent. Well, God granted, you know, Ron some talent. Ron worked hard. And from there, you know, his talent and his work and his, um, you know, just his ethics have taken him a long way. So, you know, make sure tonight that we're cheering on the Shockers and, you know, let us uh, make sure that, you know, Ron knows we're proud of him. And, uh, you know, we definitely know that Ron is proud of Scott City. So, hey, go Shockers. gave a shout out to Scott City. Now it's our turn to give a shout out back to him. So on the count of three, we're gonna give a shout out back to him that says, Ron Baker, Scott City loves you too. And then release your balloons. One, two, three. opportunity for us as a community to get ourselves on the map all right everybody watch Ron and WSU tonight on TV they play about 915 great job thank you for coming